Hi y'all, so today I'm going to talk about a DBT skill for interpersonal effectiveness called FAST. So first, let's look at some of the goals of interpersonal effectiveness. So the first goal is getting our wants and needs met, and this includes assertively communicating our wants and needs to others, and also learning to say no to unwanted requests. And another goal is building healthy relationships. So this can mean repairing your current relationships and resolving conflicts more effectively, and also letting go of relationships that aren't serving us or might be destructive to us. And we want to do this all while maintaining our own self-respect or increasing our self-respect. And this is the goal that we're going to focus on today with the FAST skill. So when we're talking about maintaining or increasing our self-respect, it's important to consider how we want to feel about or perceive ourselves, particularly when we're dealing with others and acting in a way that's consistent with our values, beliefs, and morals. So again, we're thinking about these things in the context of asking for something or saying no to something. And we can ask ourselves, how do I want to feel about myself after this interaction ends, um, regardless of whether or not I successfully get what I want in the situation, or if I successfully can say no to a request and then what do I have to do to feel that way about myself um, so what do I have to do to maintain my self-respect in this situation what will work for me so a few myths about self-respect effectiveness and this is directly from the DBT skills workbook and these are just a few of them I shouldn't have to ask or say no. They should have known that their behavior would hurt my feelings. I shouldn't have to tell them. So this goes back to um, mind reading. So others can't read our minds or know what it is that we want unless we can effectively communicate that to them. Getting what I want when I want it is more most important. Revenge will feel so good it will be worth any negative consequences. Everybody lies, and getting what I want is more important than how I get it. The ends really do justify the means. So now let's dive into the FAST skill. So we can use this acronym when we're trying to assertively communicate our needs and um, wants or say no to an unwanted request. And this means we want to be fair to ourselves and to the person we're dealing with. So we want to validate our own experience and feelings as well as theirs. And we want to avoid apologies. So again, this ties back to validating ourselves and acknowledging that there's a reason we're making a request or saying no to something and there's nothing wrong with that. And we want to stick to our values. So that means we want to be clear on what our values are so that we can stick to our guns. And we want to be truthful about what it is we want and need without making excuses or exaggerating or lying about what we're saying no to or why we're saying no to something or why we're asking for something. So this is um, also from the DBT skills workbook. And before we ask for something or say no to something, we have to decide how intensely we want to hold our ground. So this can mean um, at a low intensity, which can look like giving in or letting go. Um, so if we're asking for something, it, it would look like not asking, not hinting. If we're saying no, it would mean just doing what somebody wants without being asked. And then it can go all the way to high intensity where 
if we're asking for something we ask and we don't take no for an answer or if we're saying no to something we don't do it um, and of course there's everything in between so somewhere in the middle you might ask confidently but be willing to take no um, or you might say no confidently but you might be flexible and reconsider And so when we're deciding the intensity with which we either want to ask for something or say no to something, it's important that we consider if we or the other person is capable of fulfilling the request or saying no, um, that would influence how intensely we ask or say no. Um, what is most important to us? Is it our values, the relationship, our goals? So we want to make sure we're clear about our priorities. Are you willing to equally give and take in the relationship? So if we're making, for example, if we're making a request, um, if we're asking our friend for something, like, can you give me a ride to work tomorrow? Would this be something that we would also reciprocate if our friend needed a ride to work? And is this a good time to make a request or say no to a request? So timing is also really important. Um, is the person we're dealing with in the mood to listen to us um, and pay attention to what it is we're asking and this will influence how intensely we ask or say no to something um, and then maybe we might want to consider asking at another time or discussing if we're saying no to something discussing it at a later time where it is more likely that we would get what we wanted out of the situation. So let's now look at some more specific examples of using the FAST skill. Um, so saying no to a request, so think about a time when maybe a friend asked you to do something you didn't feel comfortable with. So let's say your friend asks you to watch their dog over the weekend and you're struggling to say no to this friend. So if we're using the FAST skill, we might say, I understand how important it is to you to make sure your dog is taken care of, but I won't be able to do that. Um, Self-care is important to me and I planned to stay home this weekend and relax. So in this example, you're acknowledging your friend's request. Um, so you're being fair and you're validating that I know it's important to you to uh, make sure your dog is taken care of. You're assertively communicating that you won't be doing that, you won't be watching their dog, and you're expressing your values and saying self-care is important to me and you're being truthful about what you're doing instead. So I'm gonna be staying home this weekend and relaxing. Um, by contrast, an ineffective way to address this might be um, to make up an excuse um, or lie or say, you know, I'd love to, I'm really sorry I can't, um, I'm actually going to be out of town this weekend also. So in that situation, we're not using our fast skill because we lied, um, we apologized. Um, and another way that we might not be as effective in addressing this would be to give in and say, you know what, yeah, sure, I will watch your dog this weekend, um, even if you really didn't want to. So in another example, if you're making a request, um, let's say that your friend just went through a breakup and has been calling you crying in the middle of the night for the past few weeks. Um, if you want to use the fast skill in the situation, you might say something like, I know that you're going through a tough time and I care about you a lot. I want to support you and I can't stay up late talking on the phone every night. Can I check in with you earlier in the day? So again, you're, you're being fair to them. You're, you're validating their experience. You're also not apologizing um, and you're being truthful that you can't stay up late talking to them every night. Um, and in this case, you're offering another option. So can I check in with you earlier in the day? Um, this goes back to prioritizing the relationship, um, you know, 
if you wanted to make sure that you can maintain a relationship with this person and you want to be a good friend, then maybe you might consider being a little bit more flexible and offering another option rather than a hard and fast, no, I'm not going to take your calls anymore. Um, so these are just a couple of examples that you could use this skill. And okay, so for this one, <clears throat> excuse me, an ineffective way to handle this might be like, just putting, letting their call go to voicemail every night. So you're, you're not really asserting what it is that's going on. You might be dodging them or you might say, Hey, sorry, um, I missed your calls. My phone was on silent. Um, I mean, if that's the truth, that's the truth. But if you are just saying that to get out of the confrontation of addressing with them that, you know, I, I can't have you calling me every day then that wouldn't be very effective. So those, that is the FAST skill. Um, these are my references. And thank you for listening and watching my presentation.